Once you have all of your denture teeth set in wax, you'll find that you may have to slightly move them uh, or refine the centric stops um, after the wax has shrunk um, during the setting uh, of the teeth. The first thing that you should be able to check for is that you have indeed got some space between the buccal cusps of your posterior teeth. You should have about a millimeter space between the buccal cusps and you should have uh, at least a millimeter of overjet. The buccal cusp should not be touching in centric position. There are several goals for where your contact should be and what they should look like when you've set your teeth. I'm going to show some of those goals here on this process denture. First of all, you should notice that the centric stops are marked in black. We've also marked some excursive contacts in red here. The very first thing you want to notice is that in centric position there are no black uh, markings, no centric stops uh, on the anterior teeth at all. Additionally, that the contacts should be centered uh, on, for a lingualized occlusion only on the maxillary lingual cusps. Firstly, you'd like to ensure that you have an even number of contacts on the teeth, that no tooth is missing a contact. Secondly, that the, how heavy the contacts are should be even for all the teeth in one side of the arch and should also be even from side to side on the arch. In this fully finished and processed lower denture, you see the corresponding contacts. You note again that the black marks signifying our centric stops are centered in the, either in the middle of a marginal ridge or the middle of a fossa on these um, zero degree um, or cuspless teeth. Uh, it's important that those contacts be uh, contacts on flat areas, shouldn't be on an incline. If you get them over to the side, they may even on a cuspless tooth end up on one of these inclines in the fossas of the teeth. So that's a very important principle, all centric stops should be the maxillary lingual cusp to some sort of flat area on the corresponding mandibular tooth. In the mandibular arch, the one place you'll find that you don't have a centric stop is on the marginal ridge of the first premolar on both sides. Again, the maxillary canine is coming down here. It has no lingual cusp. You'll never expect to see a centric stop on that marginal ridge of the first uh, premolar. If you have all of your contacts, you're ready to just refine your excursive contacts. Um, if you find that you don't have all of your contacts, or your contacts are not even, there's two things that you could do. One would be to adjust the contacts that you do have with a burr till your contacts either even out or teeth that have no contacts uh, become evident. Or you might still, if you're still in the wax try-in stage, be able to move the tooth in the wax if a lot of movement is required to get the desired contacts. In this particular case, you can see we've got one contact on the second premolar, two centric stops uh, on, the, on the molar, one on this premolar, and this premolar doesn't really have a good contact. Probably we could adjust the opposing fosses just a little bit to make sure that this contact becomes more even. If the contacts are present, but they're not in the place that you'd like them, you may need to, again, adjust the teeth. For instance, here we have a black centric stop marking, slightly buckled to the central portion where we have contact. We would probably adjust this area here so that we move that contact so that the only contact is in the central fossa. Remember, again, the maxillary lingual cusp should be running right down the middle of your ridge, and these teeth should be set right over top of that ridge so that the central fossa is indeed centered right over the, the mandibular ridge.